glad, glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. I just found out um, a little over an hour ago. My name is Angela Shrees Ali. I go by Angel. And I have a site called Love Enlightened. And what's really been on my heart is that this is the 50th year. And we are celebrating about 50% of what King had envisioned and dreamed of. And 50% of that we are lacking. So in the next 50 years, I want us to consider not only what King was for, but also what King was against. He was against injustice and inequality. In these past 50 years, we have been the beneficiaries and the ones pushing through to make his dream a reality. And that reality has allowed us to have set desegregated schools for us to come together and get to know one another. However, as I look at the history of slavery in this country, it is deeply entrenched and troubling. Very disturbing that even before we had established a government, that this, co this country had established the enslavement and the, the annihilation of Native American people, that Latino people were displaced, and African American people were enslaved from hunting, from capturing, but through chains, and whatever other means. It was a breakdown in our human society. Something went wrong, and it lasted for 253 years before the Emancipation Proclamation, when our 16th president said, enough is enough. We will push through to have a United States undivided. It became divided by the Confederate States of America. Our country divided itself from itself to ensure the enslavement and what they considered their property. African people were not considered human beings, three-fifths of a human. Even after the Emancipation Proclamation, did they say that the Jim Crowism laws went into effect to ensure their pro 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 property rights. And it's not so. No human being should be owned by another person. I ask for you all to examine how this has affected our cellular being, how it has these opinions and attitudes have gone throughout the whole world. And it's really up to us to change it. There have been gays and lesbians who now can be open and share their lives with people. And I think that's wonderful. We ought to do that. Everybody should have the right to life. We are the children of God and nobody has the right to take that away. And I believe that is the place that we have to continue to seek and to go, grow to, to be able to allow ourselves to experience the love of God. All of this is really, Dr. King was a man of God. He believed and he followed Christ. Christ was his teacher. I also encourage you to read his books. He authored five books. Strength to Love has been the most remarkable and transformative for me. I'm sure it'll do the same for you. In his writings, he was very clear. He stood up a lot. He was not timid. We hear a lot of the things from I Have a Dream as if it's just fantasy. But he stood in these places. He stood in activism. It is hard. He said we are going to have to repent also for those who were silent. So I'm asking you today, are you going to be silent or will you be active? There was Trayvon Martin and Zimmerman who really stirred our, our hearts and our minds. And I think that is also part of the reason why we're grieving and we're coming today. Because in the pit of our stomachs, we know those were the acts of de facto Confederate slavery states. It was racism, bottom line, and we shouldn't allow it. We should continue to support the family. Thank you so much. Thank you. And your applause is not for me, that is for the Martin family, Dr. Martin Luther King and Trayvon Martin's family who really needs your support in this time. It was because the march after the, um, after that the, actually in Washington, that they collected two million petitions. And the fam Martin family was able to go to Sanford Police Department and demand for the arrest of George Zimmerman. Otherwise, it would not happen. So I encourage you, I encourage us to stay active, to use our voice, not to be silent, make this life worth something. Let's actualize the dream. Let's put away the things in the TV and whoever's murdering anybody, it doesn't, it's unacceptable. The use of guns in this country and in this world is 
out of control is causing more damage and more damage. So I think it's time for us to, to really rise up and use our voice and to live for something. I have t-shirts for all of you, for everyone who's here who would want one, and it's to recycle love. I thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Angel.